What are you expecting? A two chains joke? So sad. Simo! What's going on, guys? It's Simo, and today I thought I'd bring to you a video discussing Lavavel Chain and all the hype surrounding this card, and maybe I'll teach you a little bit of economics today as well. So, in the aftermath of YCS Charleston, Volcanics went 10 and 0 in Swiss, and another player piloting an Infernity Hero deck which runs two copies of Lavable Chain, also was very close to making it into the top cut. And as a result of the success of these two decks, or for any other reason, Lavable Chain started going through the fucking roof in terms of price. So now I'm going to teach you a little economics. Let me grab my whiteboard. Okay, so... This is my beautiful Lavable Chain whiteboard that I made just for this video. So let's start by looking at Lavable Chain before YCS Charleston occurred. And that's represented by this dot right here. This is Lavable Chain's price, which it was about $50, you know, maybe $40 for the secrets, $50 for the DTs, but let's just say $50 for simplicity's sake. And it was at this quantity, meaning that the demand for Lavable Chain was at a point where people were willing to pay about $40 to $50 for a Lavable Chain. This point is what we call an equilibrium. Now what happened was, after YCS Charleston, people saw that Lavable Chain was going to be amazing for Volcanics, for Infernity Heroes, or for whatever reason it might be, Necros even, that they saw the need to shoot up the demand for Lavable Chain by buying out every single one that there was. So the demand for this card just increased dramatically. And so what happened was, the demand curve, this line we have right here, shifted to the right to adjust to the rising demand of the Vobble Chain. And so here we are now on this dotted line. The demand curve has shifted over, and now Lavable chains have a new equilibrium to match the increased quantity that people are demanding. So now it's gone up, and Lavable chain is now at close to $100. So what's gonna happen next? Well, now that we're in a market with oversaturated $100 Lavable chains, as you can see by this dot right here, you see we used to be down here, but now there's so many Lavable chains in excess because now everyone's wanting to sell their Lavable chains for over $100. What's gonna happen is people aren't gonna pay that price. And so this is gonna slowly shift back to where it originally was. The price is gonna fall and we're gonna get right back to where we started. And so what does this all mean? It means that we, the players, control this artificial second market. We have the power to make cards fluctuate in price. Because when we demand something, the price for that card is going to shoot up. Like, look at Snatch Deal when it came off the ban list. You could not find that card anywhere because everyone knew if there's a huge demand for it, that they can increase the price of it and make money. The point I'm wanting to drive home is that we, the players, have the power to stop this inflation caused by artificial demand. If people go out and buy all of these Lavable chains and they start selling them for $100 a piece, if none of us buy this card, then the price is gonna come back down because people aren't gonna be selling them. That's how the law of supply and demand works. But as long as people buy a card like Lavable Chain for $90 or $100, then people are going to see that people are willing to pay that price, and they're going to keep it at that level, and it's going to create that new equilibrium price for that card. Overall, I think with Lavable Chain, as well as the secondary market, is absolutely absurd, you know? And this is just one instance. This happens so often, and it doesn't even have to. Most of the time, it's hype. And, you know, hype is what drives these prices up because people just have to flood out and buy as many of these cards as they can because they think they're going to flip them to make a pretty penny. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the whole Lavable Chain fiasco. And thank you all so much for watching the video. We'll see you next time.